Hey guys, this is Generic Person here, and I'm actually show you something that you may not know previously before. So we got this computer here, and it's plugged in because I have to charge it. Unfortunately, the battery sucks. And I'm gonna show you actually some hidden settings your computer has, but you do not want to fool around with these settings unless you know what you're doing. So I'm gonna start this computer up. I believe the, I think it's F12. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeatedly press a key. Oh, that's not it, all right. It's not F12, it's F2 then. Yeah. All right, so I screwed up there. <laughs> and so you gotta press a key. All right, so what the heck is this screen? What's this screen? What does it do? Now, what the screen is, it's called the BIOS, the Basic Input Output System. And what this is, it basically allows you, it, it manages your whole entire computer basically. And you have a few different settings. Here we don't have that much for whatever reason, unfortunately. Normally you may, well, actually it depends on your computer on how many settings there are. But you can set the system date and time. You can set the boot order and any other boot settings and even some security settings as well. Plus, I don't know, there's a heck ton more, but there are a few different things with the BIOS. And there are actually the two different types. One is the traditional legacy BIOS, which we have here. And we have to use our arrow keys actually to navigate. So we use our arrow keys to navigate. And then, so left and right to switch between the tabs. Up and down to switch between, to just scroll between the items. So, so we see that we got all um, our traditional BIOS and note that we can't really do anything. The touchpad doesn't work, but the keyboard does work if you press the appropriate keys and all that. So, um, this basically, yeah, we can control the settings with the, um, the computer and all that. And then the second type of the BIOS this is also called UEFI. Now, sometimes it also is text-based, but... Um... But you can also have a graphical cursor in which the your touchpad or the mouse actually works. I'll show you that in just a bit. But here, we just have a limited scope. We can even do a few security options. We can enter in a password. I'm not doing that. You can configure the boot device, so that way, in the case, say, the OS ain't... Say, if your computer doesn't start from the hard drive here, then it could just start from some other device. That's some other stuff we are not going to cover, though. But, yeah, so... Yep. Oh, there goes my tablet, dang it. So... I'm going to just set that down. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much what the BIOS is. It's uh, it controls some of the com some of your computer's settings. Now you may ask, why why can't I just access this from Windows? Uh, well, you can if you just basically shut this down or then I don't know get to what the recovery screen is called. I don't know, but then there's like an option to start um, go enter your computer's firmware settings. I'm not gonna show that though. And then you get this screen, or some of the similar likes, and then you can configure stuff from here. And not all computers actually have the screen. Some computers may have something called Core Boot or Libre Boot, in which, actually, it's it's extremely complicated. So I'm not going to get into too much detail about that. But, yeah, so we see we got basic settings here. And then, yep, it's just... A simple setup utility that configures your computer settings. And yes. So, yep. And now I'm going to show you the a graphical BIOS. And I'm going to just shut this down. Oh, well, I'm actually just, you know what? Shut down. Alright. So, there we go. So, now you're going to see another BIOS that's actually graphical, a graphical BIOS. Alright, so now we have a graphical BIOS, and this is actually a UEFI BIOS, and um, this relates to that computer over here, in which we can actually use the mouse. So, um, so we can click, and we can actually, you know, the, the whole mouse is actually just accessible. Now, the reason why newer computers actually, 
well, basically ones with UA5, why they have this BIOS. It's actually because of the fact that, um, because of the way, like I said earlier, how the different types of BIOSes. Now this is UEFI, and in UEFI, the computer actually can start in either 32-bit or 64-bit mode, in which, in 32-bit mode, there's, you get 4 gigs of RAM, and that's enough to load a graphical user interface, or GUI. While if we start in 64-bit mode, I don't know how the RAM limit, but it's extremely high. And we see that we got different, actually, we got different types, and we can still use our arrow keys, but it's just more convenient if we use the buy it. Bios, uh, the mouse here, so we can just do various things, and we can even update the BIOS from here. I actually like BIOS is that we can update from just BIOS, which I don't have to run a program to do it. I can just download a file and then do it from the BIOS. But we see that we have a heck ton of settings such as ACPI, Advanced Comp. Configuration power interference, I think that's what it stands for. I think I'm incorrect on that, but oh well. We got a heck ton of stuff here. We even get a few more system information stuff about here. Alright, so. Yeah. And also, this is UEFI because we also. Um, it should be, I think. No, not here, but. Oh no, the boot section. Here we go. Because. Um, you get. It's secure boot. Um, I don't know whether it is, but yeah. So yeah, so this is a graphical BIOS in which I show. Um, not actually, I don't want to save any changes I may have done. Discard changes. Um, discard changes and exit. In which I should just shut this thing down. And yep. So that is pretty much what. The graphical BIOS looks like, and I don't intend to start this up right now. So, yep, that's what a graphical BIOS is. And, yep, so that's what pretty much a BIOS is. And, yep, while well, there's a lot more to it, you you can get the gist of the idea. But, let me address the f uh, a question you may have. So, you may notice, let's, actually, you know what? I know, I mean, to the BIOS. Actually, before we get to that question, to access the BIOS, the key varies. So, on that laptop I showed earlier, you have to press F2. Um, on this computer, it's actually delete. So, here's the delete key, and then now we're in the BIOS. So, you may wonder, now you may wonder, how come we can't configure these settings in Windows? Well, the thing is, Windows, first of all, there's not really any way an OS can just, your operating system, Windows, or that can be Linux, and an operating system magically makes your computer work, to put it in the simplest terms possible. So, um, your computer actually, let me just switch this to UEFI. Um, it, there's not an easy way to just configure these settings. These are actually low level settings. By low level, I mean these settings an OS cannot modify. So that means Windows, we we'll use Windows as an example in this case. Windows cannot modify these settings, nor can anything else can, but just the simple BIOS. And simple as that. So, yep. That's why you really can't configure these settings from Windows. And nor should you be able to simply configure those settings from Windows anyways. That's not something you should be easily able to do because if you screw up any of these settings, especially on this computer for an example, if say you screw around with these settings, the overclocking settings, you're going to toast your computer. You're going to destroy it. But if you know what you're doing, then go ahead. But if you don't, do not do anything. So actually, I'm going to save changes this time. And now, I'm going to show you next how you update the BIOS. Now, while this computer loads, I'm going to talk about why you may want to update the BIOS. Now, in some cases, you may want to update the BIOS because there could be some fix or improvements or all that different types of good stuff. So, I'm going to just... So, yep, yeah, and in this case, I'm actually... 
like how many different ways you can access the bio so actually different ways in which you actually update it and I'm gonna show you how you update it on this computer so I'll log in real quick and then download the appropriate stuff and then I'll get set up real quick in other words all right so now we have a graphical bios and this is actually a UA fire bios and um, this relates to that computer over here in which we can actually use the mouse so um, so we can click and we can actually you know the, the whole mouse is actually just accessible now the reason why newer computers actually or basically ones with UEFI why they have this BIOS it's actually because of the fact that um, because of the way like I said earlier how the different types of BIOSes now this is UEFI and in UEFI the computer actually can start in either 32-bit or 64-bit mode in which in 32-bit mode there's you get 4 gigs of RAM and that's enough to load a graphical user interface or GUI. While if we start in 64 bit mode, I don't know how the RAM limit, but it's extremely high. And we see that we got different, actually, we got different tabs and we can still use our arrow keys, but it's just more convenient if we use the BIOS, uh, the mouse here. So we can just do various things and we can even update the BIOS from here. I actually like BIOSes that. We can update from just BIOS, which I don't have to run a program to do it. I could just download a file and then do it from the BIOS. But we see that we have a heck ton of settings such as ACPI, Advanced Configuration Power Interface, I think that's what it stands for. I think I'm incorrect on that, but oh well. We got a heck ton of stuff here. We even get a few more system information stuff about here. Alright, so... Yeah, and also this is UEFI because we also, um, it should be, I think, no, not here, but one oh, no, of the boot section, here we go, because, um, you get, it's secure boot, um, I don't know whether it is, but, yeah, so yeah, so this is a graphical BIOS in which I show, um, not actually, I don't want to save. Any changes I may have done. Discard changes. Um, discard changes and exit. In which I should have just shut this thing down. And yep. So that is pretty much what a graphical BIOS looks like. And I don't intend to start this up right now. So yep. That's what a graphical BIOS is. And yep. So that's what pretty much a BIOS is. And... Yep, while well, there's a lot more to it, you you can get the gist of the idea. But let me address the f uh, a question you may have. So you may notice, let's actually, you know what, I know, I'm to the BIOS. Actually, before I get to that question, but access the BIOS, the key values. So on that laptop I showed earlier, you have to press F2. Um, on this computer, it's actually delete. So here's the delete key and then now we're in the BIOS so you may wonder now you may wonder how come we can't configure these settings in Windows well the thing is Windows first of all there's not really any way an OS can just your operating system Windows or that can be Linux and an operating system magically makes your computer work to put it in the simplest terms possible so um, your computer actually, let me just switch this to UEFI, um, it, there's not an easy way to just configure these settings. These are actually low level settings. By low level, I mean these settings an OS cannot modify. So that means Windows, we we'll use Windows as an example in this case, Windows cannot modify these settings, nor can anything else can, but just the simple BIOS. And simple as that. So, yep, that's why you really can't configure these settings from Windows. And nor should you be able to simply configure those settings from Windows anyways. That's not something you should be easily able to do because if you screw up any of these settings, especially on this computer for an example, if say you screw around with these settings, the overclocking settings, you're going to toast your computer. You're going to destroy it. But if you know what you're doing, then 
go ahead. But if you don't, do not do anything. So actually, I'm going to save changes this time. And now I'm going to show you next how you update the BIOS. Now, while this computer loads, I'm going to talk about why you may want to update the BIOS. Now, in some cases, you may want to update the BIOS because there could be some fix or improvements or all that different types of good stuff. So I'm going to just... So, yep, and in this case, I'm actually... Like how many different ways you can access the BIOS, so actually different ways in which you actually update it. And I'm going to show you how you update it on this computer. So I'll log in real quick and then download the appropriate stuff and then I'll get set up real quick in other words. <laughs> 